<laughs> we are back. Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J with Carlton Banks, Big Rube, and Jay Grizzy Green in the room. We are going to transition to our next segment. Our next segment is called What Do You Think About It? What Do You Think About It? We call them banks. What you got, brother? You know, growing up, all of us in here got kids except for Ruben, but we, we st- the jury's still out on that. You know, he may have two or three of them out there. But, 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 but don't go there, Ruben. Don't, come don't go there. I'm broke. <laughs> but, you know, one of the things I want to ask about, what are some of the best things your parents ever taught you as you were growing up? You know, that's the kind of thing that makes you think, am I doing that right for my kid now? I mean, I look at my son. I mean, some days I lose patience. Oh, my gosh. I wish I had some of the patience my my parents had. Otherwise, my son may be dead right about now. You know what I'm saying? I, I pass this out to some of my friends. You know, they they like, it's too much to talk about. One of my boys said Christ. Other people said respect. Other people said how to cultivate a good relationship between God and home. But I really want to know. I mean, what is it something that your mom taught you, Big Gray? Big Grizzy? <laughs> you say Big Gray. <laughs> big Gray. Gr- 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 right. My mom taught me, pure D, don't run your mouth against something that, you know, don't put your mouth in something that ain't none of your business. I It went back to a real early show, first starting here, talking about snitching. Uh, right uh, at Global Scale Radio or somebody else's show. Well, you can reach us at eight zero four seven two six thirty four thirty. But you know, don't 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 be dipping in everybody's business. Mind your own. You know that that lesson has stuck to me throughout my life, and uh, it served me well because the minute you start dipping in somebody else's business, right, you taking focus off of what you need to be doing, and every finger that's pointed at you, you got yeah. four, four more, more pointed at you. I knew so, that was coming. That's a lesson that sticks. I mean, it, it is different as a parent. You could, your parents could 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 give you get words, speak to it, right. but they show by example. You know, my mom, was just, you know, as a single mom, she just did it all. You know, fed me, clothed me. You know, I wouldn't have known I was poor if it wasn't from the you know my family. I mean, so that's one. I mean, they had to stay focused. You know, on what was really important. That's a lesson that that I took. But I want to say real quick about. You was talking about the kids. I before I came here to the studio, I was doing a homework session, and the twelve year old was just sitting there huffing and puffing, and I got so frustrated. I'm like, "Yo, you about to get clotheslined?" So no, and it, it, it seems like, like it's so hard to be patient. Like I didn't, I d- I wouldn't dare voice. I mean, even though no kid likes homework, of course, right? But I wouldn't have dared said, you know, let my parents or my mom hear me. Be mad. I mean, it w- I said, don't. Ain't you smart enough to know you ain't supposed to say, keep that to yourself or go in your room and let it out. Say, I hate my homework. Or, I hate dad making me do this homework. But don't say it to me. Oh, right. Man, I, I yeah. gave him a tongue lash, and I ain't because child he, he child abuse might call. One of the things you want to chop him in the throat for, kind of yeah, thing. He get older. He enough for that, uh, that chop in the throat. Big what, what about you? What Mama Brown teach you? That taught me how to cook. I mean, I'm well, well, we, well, that's, I a, know, great, that's a great trade because I, yeah, I, have, yeah, don't have yeah, it. yeah, I don't have it. <laughs> I, and I met, sh- I met quite a few women in my life who can't cook a can't boil a thing of water, and that upsets me. Right. A- a- as a single man out in this world, I would love to think that my hopefully my hope my my future wife could boil some water, but you know, you got to take the good with the bad sometimes, and and. You know what my mother told me simply was, "Little Big Roo, if you don't, if is that if, possible? That's that's possible. <laughs> Little Big Roo, for nothing else, you gotta feed yourself. If hey, you can't man. feed nobody else, <laughs> and I like to thank her for that. She may be listening today. I told her that I was doing a show now, so she might be listening. <laughs> so I mean, you know, without my ability to to cook for myself it's not good all the time but I eat it and that's all that really matters Mama Rube call in and let us know how you do how nah you don't be called in now see there you go but you, you know what that's yourself. a great trait because like you said you out here living on your own you single yeah ain't nobody gonna feed you ready to mingle no, now, I got that. married now, <laughs> now now Marcus and Jay you see from if they can see the two of us versus Y'all the two of them we cook <laughs> yeah they, we don't they don't we cook they don't but they you know don't. it's about right. 200 for the pound difference but it ain't pouring out our pores either exactly exactly that's right yeah 
what's what? What's what? what? What's what? Mean, anybody who knew me, you know, before Miss J came along, knows that I used to cook. I used to cook. You I still had, owe me a steak I, dinner. I, I had this. You, you never, you'll never get it. <laughs> and um, but I used to, I used to cook. You know, before Mama J, Mama J being my mom, not baby girl, before she sent me down here to Virginia, coming up on twenty years this August. Ooh, she sent me down here with a handwritten cookbook of my famous <laughs> dishes, favorite dishes. <laughs> Which I still have. She said he might die if he actually, don't take it. Yeah, bro, basically. <laughs> she had actually forgot about it. You know, one of the more previous times, I think when she was here last year, I showed it to her. It's in her handwriting, pages all yellow and whatnot. Right. She was like, wow. But as far as the things that I learned, it's funny because, like, people who've known me and people who know my parents know that I'm kind of a hybrid of the two of them. You know what I mean? That's like good. like you know, like my mom my mom is yeah. My mom is, you know, is is, you know, kinda like the center of the of the family. Everybody comes to her and you know, she's always got open house and people always come ring on the doorbell and hang out with her and things like that and always likes mm-hmm. to cook and you know, kinda the whole big mama thing. You know, my dad is a lot more stoic, you know what I mean? He he's the one who I learned how to, you know, don't take no stuff from nobody. Basically, my pop didn't take right. no stuff. You don't take no stuff from nobody. You know, very strong. You know, I learned how important it is for a man to be a man hey, from man. my father. I learned yep. that it's important for a man to take care of his. Yep. You know, I also learned that a man should always be able to handle it no matter what else is going on. Now, yes. why you should always stand up now. <laughs> and, yep. and whatever, whatever it is, fill in your it. It, right. But the man is supposed to be able to handle it. And I, and I learned that. I watched this man get up every single morning when it was dark to go to work and come home late. He was tired. He still had time to take care of Is him. y'all saving a big piece of chicken? Nah, we no, we, kinda, we we ate his chicken. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, we ate his chicken, and he didn't, and he didn't, and he didn't even, he didn't, even, he, didn't he, he didn't even go there. See, there's a difference back. between generations. Like your dad would have said, you know what, the kids ate. I'm good. I came home. I'm tired. Yeah, I come t- home. I want my big piece of chicken. I don't nah, give a he rat. Just, he would, just, you know, my, you know what else? My pop was the dude who would give you the look. Right. Like yeah. he didn't even have to say nothing. Uh, oh, he yeah. He didn't even have to say nothing. Like he gave you the look, you like, oh hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cuz am I I know I know my dad. You know, my dad's like EF Hutton. When he talks, people er, listen. People listen. Uh, cuz he don't talk that much. Right. But, you know, Every once in a while, like that big piece of chicken. No, he got his big piece of chicken, yeah. and I got stuck with the thighs, which I hate. Oh, yeah, I, I love thighs. I, like, I, like, I, li- I like drumsticks. Yeah. I like wings and breasts, literally. But <laughs> you know, it's it's one of those things where the thigh man just I I couldn't do you it. Can't do it. You can't that's do just, it. That's just like my dad used to do when when because my mom and dad split up when we were very young. So I, we had uh he had custody on the weekends and stuff. Used to hate going to my dad's house because he was like me. He ain't cook. <laughs> Not until he got married. So he, he used to boil some hot dogs, some pork and beans. But it wouldn't be the good hot dogs. It would be the chicken franks. Oh, oh, yeah, still, that's still, still to this day, I will not touch it. Uh, if you that's put a chicken frank hot dog. dog in front of me, I will straight Chateau Atat Nikita Cole off you. I will not touch it. <laughs> I mean, if it ain't all beef. It ain't, it ain't going it ain't in. No hot dog it ain't no, it's terrible. But it's see, beef parts of something else, but I don't know what's in chicken I mean, franks. Yeah, what's I chicken? Think. Turkey franks. Yeah, turkey franks. Turkey franks. Right. No, I don't want that. You know, one of the things that all men should learn how to do is clean. I mean, oh, yeah. oh, washing clothes, yeah, washing yeah, dishes. Yeah. Uh, I can wash clothes. I'm going to clean. Oh, house? It, it might take me a while to get to it, but I'm going to clean. I'm yeah, a, I do I'm get to it. It's going to look spicky. You're going to be able to eat your food off the floor. Yeah, I'm a domestic. Yeah. You know what the cool thing is, though? How many times did you ever thank your dad about keeping the lights on? No, that's a good point. I mean, because you know we got Mother's Day. I and did. You got you see you got, got Father's older. you got Father's Day, but that's really the only day for dads for real for real. Every day is Mother's Day. I mean, yes. yeah, you know, like for instance, I wish my kids could this, hear this. This <laughs> Hallmark holiday. You know <laughs> this commercial holiday. Yeah, you mean the day today that we haven't mentioned yet that we're not going to mention. Uh-huh. Exactly. Oh, that's the I rule mean, tonight. I was going I to mean, I ain't no shout out. Rule. No, it ain't no rule. That. <laughs> we ain't no rule, but we got through an hour and a half. We didn't. Yeah, that's your hot too. Keep going. I mean, yeah, it is crazy <laughs> because like they ain't no, you know, like today. Did I get some? 
I got no, something we, after I gave some. Why can't I get some first? We know this day ain't for yeah, us. Yeah, we know yeah. a lot of I things ain't for us. But I ain't complaining. But you know about. what? That's one of those things that, as a man, you just got to know your role. Yeah, exactly. You got to know your role. You know, and your role is on February fourteenth every year. You decide. You, you know. Buy some stuff. You ought to know that you got to go out and now if you got a good if you got a good partner right. and I won't say male or female if you got a good partner then your partner is going to take care of you but you know if you if you don't so be it you still need to go ahead do it. And, you still need to go ahead and handle